Okay, for the wheel, let's start with a sketch on the front plane. And let's draw a rectangle with a corner at the origin, dimension a quarter inch by one inch. Connected to that rectangle, let's draw a center point arc. Make sure you get the midpoint. And finish that off so it's a bull nose round semicircle. And then let's sketch another rectangle, making sure it's on the side the first rectangle and we'll just eyeball it dimensions 0.125 by 0.5 inches and then the distance above the bottom edge which would be the center of the wheel is a quarter inch finish the sketch revolve and make sure you pick those two areas to revolve leaving the other rectangle out so that gives the overall shape of the wheel and then we'll add fillets to that. Add fillets of 0 0.0625. Those squared off edges that we had fillets for, let's go ahead and round those off. Next, let's drill a hole for the axle. Put a center point. Finish the sketch. And we're going to drill a simple hole that goes through with a diameter of 0.28. Okay, next we're going to build the peg where the link arm attaches to. So let's do a sketch on that inside face. And we have to be careful when we draw this. I want to be connected to the horizontal, but I don't want to put it on a line. So I want to make sure it's connected to the horizontal and just eyeball it and it needs to be a quarter inch diameter. And then let's dimension that so that it sticks out 0.7 inches from the middle. Okay, and you can see that part of that circle is down on a surface inside the wheel. Uh, go ahead, finish the sketch, extrude, and we want to make sure that we get both of those profiles there. Distance to extrude 0.375. Let's put another sketch on that surface at the end of the peg and we're going to draw another circle 0.125 inch diameter. Make sure it's in the middle. We want to extrude that circle another 0.125 inches. And then we'll put another sketch on that surface, draw a center point, finish the sketch, and then drill a hole. Uh, hole diameter 0 0.0625. Uh, won't be through. This will be a blind hole with a depth of 0.25 inches. Okay, now let's learn how to do the circular pattern and create the spokes on the wheel. So let's do a sketch on that inset face. And then if I'm recreating the pattern that's there, I'm going to draw a circle that's 1.25 inch diameter. I'm going to draw another circle that's 0.75 inch diameter. And then I'm going to get my line tool and just eyeball a line. We'll dimension it here in a second. And let's draw another line connected to the origin, the center of the wheel. And then I'm going to select the y-axis there and the line. And that should be 15 degrees above the horizontal. And then if I click those two lines, that little wedge should be 30 degrees. Okay, so that gives me the basic shape that I'm going to cut out. So now... I'll select to extrude, pick that little wedge shape. Let's make sure we remove it. Go through all, not blind. And then we're going to circular pattern that. So up here right next to mirror <coughs> is circular pattern. And you don't want to pattern the part. We want to pattern a feature. And it's that last extrusion. And then the axis that I want to pattern, any of the circles that we have on the wheel would work. 
and I want six of them. So that is the pattern that is drawn for us. I ex uh, encourage you to experiment with your own pattern and you don't have to copy this exactly. You can put puppy dog bones for your spokes or hearts or shamrocks or whatever you would like uh, as long as whatever you sketch does not interfere with the function of the wheel. But that's the wheel modeled as it was drawn.